in this screencast video lecture we are going to see the errors that occurs during the dna replication this is the one which commonly comes under the spontaneous mutations so a lot of spontaneous mutation will result in the form of errors that occur during the replication process mainly during the pairing of bases an error in dna replication can lead to illegitimate base pairing that is a common base pairing is a and t whereas due to the replication error and a can able to pair with c so this leads to substitution kind of mutation there in the nucleotide sequence each of the bases in the dna can appear in one of several forms that are referred as a tautomer which is an isomer that differ in the bonding positions of the atom if you look at in this image you can able to see the different kinds of nucleotides adenine guanine thymine and cytosine what that have been shown there in the left hand side is the common stable forms that occur in the living organism that is they can be called as the amino form or keto forms whereas what that have been shown there in the right hand side refers to rare forms that results in the mutations they constitutes the enol form as well as imino forms of the bases this is effected mainly due to the shift in the hydrogen atoms between the number 3 and number 4 if it is of a pyrimidine and it is between number 1 and number 6 position if it is of a purine base due to the errors in dna replication the mutations commonly resulted includes point mutation and frame shift mutation again point mutation is divided into two forms that is transition and transversion now we look at the points related to point mutation point mutations occur as a result of substitution of one nucleotide for another in a specific nucleotide sequence of a gene for example they can be of a transition or transversion type transition refers to substitution of one purine for another purine or a pyrimidine for another pyrimidine whereas transversion refers to replacement of a purine by a pyrimidine or vice versa this base pair substitution can able to cause three different kinds of mutation there in the organism that affects the translation process so the three types of mutations includes the missense mutation nonsense mutation and silent mutation so the top one is the normal dna the next one is the possible modification there in the sequences of the dna due to mutation when those different kinds of mutated dna when subjected to a transcription process they produce the possible mrnas when they are translated the different kinds of protein could be resulted the type of mutations that causes this variant in the protein formation i have listed earlier now we look at in detail about this different types of mutations that could be resulted due to transition or transversion the kind of point mutation that occurs in the nucleotide sequences the first important one is missense mutation when a normal dna is transcribed it produces an mrna that codes for tyrosine protein so that is referred as a normal protein and that is a wild type organisms protein however when a mutation is occurred and then the sequence is changed the normal uac is converted into aac due to the point mutation that causes the change in the type of amino acid that have been coded by the mrna so instead of tyrosine here asparagine is coded that is exactly a faulty protein there in that system so this is an example for a missense mutation here the missense mutation that occurs in humans is explained with a example that is the sickle cell anemia a normal single base substitution in the codon of a sixth amino acid for the hemoglobin changes the sixth amino acid from glutamic acid to valine thus forming a characteristic hemoglobin of a sickle cell anemia in structure you look at in this diagram if you look at the sixth amino acid it is coded as a glutamic acid in a 
wild type hemoglobin gene there in the humans. Whereas, if a mutation is resulted there in that particular gene, it is converted from glutamic acid to valine. That is, the amino acid expressed is, is valine that makes the hemoglobin to appear as a sickle celled there. Thus, in nutshell, the GAG that codes for glutamic acid is converted into GTG that codes for valine. So, under a low oxygen condition, this S form that is sickle form of hemoglobin cells can able to stack one on another and form into red crystal like appearance or red crystal block like appearance. In the next case, the altered gene triplet produces a chain terminating codon there in the mRNA. This results in a premature termination of the protein formation during the translation process. That is, instead of a protein coding sequence, now it has been changed into a stop codon. As a result, it produces an incomplete protein. The type of mutation resulted under this condition is referred as a nonsense mutation and generally the polypeptide produced is a incomplete in nature or non-functional in nature. The next one is a neutral or silent mutation. The altered gene triplet here produces an mRNA codon which specifies the same amino acid because the codon resulting from the mutation is synonymous to that of the previous codon. That is, it is one of the redundant codon for the original codon. This results in a neutral or silent mutation. That is, mutation is created but still the amino acid specified by the mutant sequence is also coding for the same amino acid. So, it can be referred as a mutation that is occurring silently or neutral mutation. Next, we are going to look at the points related to frame shift mutations. These mutations results from gain or loss of one or more nucleotides in a gene and they are termed as a insertion or deletion mutation respectively. What is meant by reading frame? You just look at the prokaryotic gene structure here. A Tata box after that, you can able to see a stretch of gene sequence which are commonly coding for a protein or referred by the term open reading frame. So, that will have a start codon and it will end in a stop codon. So, the gene sequence reads as following. That is ATG, ACA and finally it ends with the ATA. Here in the gene sequence, the first frame is the one which codes for a start codon. That is ATG. So, that is a reading frame. The next one is a ACA. That is the next reading frame. Like that it will be continuing. All the other reading frames codes for various amino acids. And finally, it should have a sequence that will stop the translation process that is referred as a stop codon. In general, the nucleotide sequence need to be read in a three nucleotides together which constitutes a reading frame. If some mutation occurs there in a nucleotide, this reading frame itself will be shifted or changed. The frame shift could be best explained in this following contest. You look at the line there, THE, D. It is a frame, CAT that is a frame, second frame, ATE is the third frame and again THE D is the fourth frame and last one is RAT. If the letter E is removed or deleted from the first word that is from THE, all the letters that follow the shift to the left, then you will read the sentence as follows. The previous one use a meaning the cat ate the rat. However, due to the deletion of a third letter from the first word, the frame has been completely changed and if you look at it code, it says for THC, ATA, TET, HER, AT, which doesn't convey any meaning there. The same would be true if a nucleotide was added or deleted to a stretch of DNA sequences. In the same way, a nucleotide sequence loses its meaning when an insertion or deletion shift of all the codons by one nucleotide. In the same way, a nucleotide sequence loses its meaning when an insertion or deletion shifts 
all the codons by just one nucleotide. This change throws off the reading frame. That is, it doesn't give any meaning for the reading frame. The first diagram shows the normal reading frame that has been employed there to read the sequence and finally the protein has been formed. Whereas the downside, left hand side one shows the insertion there in the frame. Especially an insertion is taking place after the first two amino acids which changes the subsequent amino acids. Say in a wild type it is serine and aspartic acid whereas here due to the frame shift mutation that is due to the insertion of a nucleotide it has changed to valine and arginine. The next case is a frame shift mutation that is resulted due to the deletion of a nucleotide that have been shown there with an arrow there. Because of the deletion, the last two amino acids that have been formed there are serine and isoleucine instead of serine and aspartic acid that have been formed in a wild strain.